let's talk about addictions and detoxification because this is where the power lies. When you detoxify the body, you will heal. You will heal your addictions and amongst so many other things. Hi, my name's Tony. If you're new here, welcome. If you haven't already, subscribe. Also turn on the bell notification to be notified when the next videos are. So in today's video, we are gonna discuss about addictions, why they take such a hold on ourselves. Because sometimes we just feel like we're just out of control and nothing seems to work. You know, willpower, discipline. I mean, I do talk about these. They are important, but they only get you so far. Addictions are really built in. These are like our default subconscious patterns that are not us. That They're just patterns that we've taken on from others, from society, that are a way for us to protect ourselves, the way to numb, to distract. We've done it for so long, so many years, and it's become part of our identity. Now, a real quick straight to it point is we can shift that. We can shift our identity anytime we choose to. The only limitations is what we put on ourselves. And I've been there, I've worked on self-development, I've worked with hundreds of clients, shift from feeling helpless, hopeless, to empowered. Addictions do not need to own you. They may feel like they do. And like sometimes when they are subconscious, you don't even realize what is going on? What is happening? Why do I keep on self-sabotaging? Why do I keep returning back to old behaviors? We've got to get to the root cause. All these quick fix diets, all these supplements or these weight loss things that are going on in the world, they're just band-aids. They're just band-aids that cover up the root of the issue. So you're asking me, well, what is the root of the issue? Well, before we go into that, we have to be aware of these patterns that are not serving us. So I want you to take some time for you this week, today, to really start to recognize the self-sabotaging patterns. Where do you feel like you're slipping up? Now, we don't need to understand fully or the depth as of yet, but when you go on this journey, you will start to surface, you'll start to see these patterns, these self-limiting beliefs that are holding us back, that are stopping us from being who we truly are, who we deserve to be, with that being the weight loss, the feeling confident, sexy, rollicious as I call it, we can step back into our power. There's going to be no more helplessness. I help others get deep get really into their shadow so that it can be seen. And what happens with addictions, they really do take a hold of you and they do take over your life. I've seen it not even just with food, but alcohol, drug addictions. They're all the same. They all come under the same category. If anything, I would argue, and some may disagree, and that's totally fine, that food is one of the biggest addictions in the world. You know, there's two things going on here. We have the psychological aspect and we have the physiological aspect. Now, the physiological aspect is you've got parasites in your gut that are crying out for the foods that you've been continuously feeding for years. That could be meat, that could be dairy, junk food, all these fats and sugars mixed together. You know, when you're combining these two macros, fats, carbohydrates together, especially with the processed foods and the animal products, they're going to keep you stuck and locked because these parasites will keep on crying out every time you choose to start eating healthy. You know, it's frustrating. I've been there. You know, you're like, why can't I figure this out? Why can I just not eat healthy? Why am I not satisfied with the healthy foods? Why do I keep going back to eating the rubbish? And that's because of these parasites. We all have these parasites for certain foods and they are kicking and screaming inside our gut. Now, the second aspect is the psychological, is the attachments to these foods. You know, we've, we've been programmed in society, you know, 
foods, comfort foods are what are going to help us feel good. And they do, they give you that quick fix, that dopamine rush. You like feel like it, it is a drug, you know, it's cocaine. It's on par with cocaine, if not worse, because it's so readily available and acceptable. It really frustrates me seeing the amount of junk everywhere you go. Like sadly, even in Thailand, when I came here, the first time I came here, Many, many years ago, there was fruit stands everywhere. It was so accessible. Now it's fried chicken. It's fried meats and all the other crap that comes with it. There is still the fruit stalls, but there's a lot more junk stands. And it really saddens me. I'm seeing so many more Asian people overweight, struggling with diabetes. They never had that issue before. You know, many of us never had the issue until we started bringing in all these fats and sugars mixed in with these processed junk foods. Don't blame yourself that you have these attachments because it is everywhere and it's readily available. Too easy to get. And society has created a system where you don't have the time to even think about preparing your own food or how to eat well because we're all so busy in survival mode. But you've got to catch that. We've got to stop this survival instincts. We've got to start looking at all aspects of our lives. This is, this is a big topic and it's something I'm so passionate about. But the quickest and fastest way to get there is going through a detoxification. It could be the raw foods start to transition, high raw, raw until dinner, then moving through to fruits, more focus on fruits, juice cleansing. It's the quickest and effective to clean out the bowels so that your system is ready for the raw foods, all that fibrous foods. It takes some willpower initially, but when you start to educate yourself and realizing this is in my power, when you've got a community, when you've got accountability, when you've got a coach, this was my huge turning point. My biggest success is having a coach help me through these barriers, these addictions, the self-sabotaging. My coach helped me see the bigger picture, the spiritual aspect of my life. If not, these chemicals in our body, all these residues, they're left there. We don't detox. We're always going to be stuck physically, mentally, emotionally. We have to come away from these chemical toxic foods. They're not even food. I keep saying in my, like, in my videos, it's not food. And garbage, it's just garbage. And I could say this is going to take time, but it might not. It's all dependent on your attitude and how much you want this. You know, there's, I was just talking to one of my clients the other day and who was saying, you know, what makes people change? And it's two, either two things, desperation or inspiration. But for most people, it's desperation. It's when sometimes it's too late and it's never too late, but when they get these really serious illnesses, when they're bedridden. I've interviewed lots of people on the channel, such as Sky, Sky Conway. She was so sick. She hasn't even got a stomach. You know, she's really restricted, but she went raw and healed. She couldn't even get out of bed for, for many months. I think it was even years. And her life's totally transformed. This is the power of raw vegan food. So we have to work on these two aspects, the physiological and the psychological. And for most people, they can't do this on their own. They have to have some form of community. We're social creatures. When you're surrounded by so many like-minded people, that's who you become. You know, you see, if you're going to the gym regularly, you're around fitness, health enthusiasts. They're not always healthy, um, but they're training. They're working out. And you take on that energy. We are energetic beings. It's the same with the food. If we keep going around these social gatherings that are consuming all this junk, those meat, this processed food, again, not food, um, garbage, you will become that. And that's why we struggle with health. True vitality, abundance starts with what we're consuming 
every single day, working on the reasons why we're doing these addictions. So getting to the root cause, which means slowing down, which means meditation, which means taking time for you to start to reflect on those behaviors, those patterns that are not you and creating a new identity. Mind your language every single day. Who do you want to become? And embody that every single day. You have to change the subconscious. We have to work on those self-sabotaging, limiting beliefs that are holding us back. We are so dependent on these fake garbage foods every single day to numb, to distract, to escape, to comfort. I had a massive binge eating issue that lasted many years, most of my 20s. I, I look back on my 20s and what a waste that was. I couldn't deal with life. I wish someone, I wish I had this mentorship, what I offer to support me and hold me, to be seen, to show me the tools of self-love, of how raw vegan can absolutely change your life. I wish I had that, but never regret. I am where I am now. If you're going to be codependent on anything, let it be spirituality. Step back into your power, your new identity of who you really are. Make a spiritual practice, your habit every single day to put things in perspective of really why we are here. We are sovereign beings. We, you and I, the fact that we're here, we are important. Do you know what it takes to create a being, a beautiful soul? And the fact that we're here, we are a miracle. We are all consciousness. We aren't these individual bodies. We all are a collective as a divine consciousness. You are never on your own. We are all here together to want to better our lives. Everybody wants to be happy, fulfilled. You know, you might be in this vessel. We class ourselves as individuals, but we really are all as one. This whole consciousness is all one. The pain within us manifests outside. When we heal ourselves, we heal the world, the consciousness. So let's detoxify the body, heal this vessel, heal the mind through detoxification, through raw living foods. If you want help on your journey, I'm here, one-on-one -on -one coaching. My new app is coming out very, very soon that encompasses all that I teach through to the physiological, the psychological, the traumas, the heal, healing work, and so much more fitness, so if you're into the gym or just way of moving your body, all these exercises, I'm going to be offering a whole package. I'm really excited to be offering that very soon. I don't know exactly when that's going to be out, but I'm really excited to be sharing that with you. If you want to know more about that or be the first to know, then go on my website, Roll This You, to sign up and you'll be first to notified. I offer retreats, I've got a free ebook, lots of great offerings, so much value. This is my contribution to the world. This is what lights me up. If you like this video, thumbs up if you haven't already subscribed and also turn on the bell notification to be notified of when the next videos are. Be feel, stay rollish.